What's up everybody? My name is Jake Stahl, also known as Focus City. I'm a street photographer and I have been for about six years and I've dedicated my time to building a community around it. But it's not why I'm here today. Today I want to talk to you about Luminar Mobile's editing app and the new updates that came with version 2.2. I'm also going to walk you through a quick tutorial on how I edit my photos to achieve a certain look. Alright, so I got the app open here and I'm going to pull up a quick photo of a guy walking in front of a bridge at night during a snowstorm here in Cincinnati. Now, upon first glance, you're going to see a lot of improvement in the user interface. I think Luminar did a gorgeous job at giving you exactly what you want right in front of you without searching. Now, also, this is a raw photo and Luminar Mobile now supports raw photo editing. And if you do not know what a raw photo is, it's just a uncompressed image that contains all of the data within the details of your image. So you're gonna be able to edit at greater lengths now, which is super important. And if you don't shoot and roll, you should. So I'm gonna start by clicking on this little film stock here. And I always go to Oslo. I love the blue hue that it gives a photo at night. I'm gonna use this Enhance AI tool to bump up just a little bit to adjust some of the details. I'm going to drag the exposure down just a tad. Always boost the contrast. Some people are against super dark contrasty photos, but I personally love them. And in the temperature tab here, I'm just going to drag it to blue. Because if you've seen the aesthetic on my page, blue wins. And one thing to note also is if you have an iPad and you edit on your phone, Luminar Mobile now supports iCloud Sync, so you can pick up where you left off, which is super important. And if you're like me and have a little one and you get distracted easily, it auto saves your photo. So if you walk away and you come back and you forget to save it, it's going to be there, which is very important because there's nothing worse than working hard to edit a photo. Something comes up and you come back and have to do it all over again. So back to my edit. The Relight AI tool is probably one of my favorites and I've never seen it in any other editing app. I am going to bring the brightness near in this photo into the negative and then boost the brightness far up because I want the person to kind of look like a silhouette while you're focusing on the, the bokeh in the background on the bridge. And then I'm going to top it off with some vignette to draw your eyes towards the subject of the image. I always use vignette if there's a subject in the middle and I want you to focus on what's in the middle. And I think that pretty much sums it up. I appreciate you watching me edit a live photo and I hope my tips and tricks within Luminar Mobile's app help you. If you could drop a like on this video, share it with a friend or send us a photo that you've edited in Luminar Mobile. Thank you.